Hello, hello. Welcome back, Hitomi, here with you at uh, Bunny Ballistics. Today we have some Hornady custom ammo we're doing. These are 124 grain. So the box says 1350. So that's about the slowest, I would say, for 125, 124 grain. Um, 357. I feel like that's like the bare minimum, right, guys? Don't, don't you guys agree? Kind of, sort of. Um, so we'll see how good they do. They are XTPs. So XTP in general is actually not a very, uh, it's not a bad round. It's, it's generic, but good. Yeah, I would say that. You usually, usually buy a hundred, um, just, uh, projectiles for about, um, like 20 bucks. So not too bad, not expensive. Um, we'll see how they do. Here we have our Hornady. 357 SIG. These are 124 grain XTPs. And it says on the box that it's supposed to be going 1350. Uh, I guess we shall see. And as I'm sure most of y'all have seen, these are just some XTPs. Nothing too crazy about them. Now, now they're not bad bullets. These are actually, you know, they're good bullets, but you know, a lot of people load them. So nothing too crazy. And then as for y'all should know, we are using my P226 Elite 357 SIG. It's got about a four and a half inch barrel on it. Anyways, let's get into chronographing and seeing how true their claims are. All right, next we have some Hornady Custom ammo. These are 124 grain XTPs, and it's supposed to be 1350 out of this barrel, or uh, excuse me, out of uh, the box. Um, which is pretty average for uh, 357 SIG. So let's see what it is. 1300. 1300. 1310. 1310. And a duplicate. 1310. 1310. Should we do one more just because it's a duplicate? I mean, of course we should. I mean shoot another bullet like come on of course so let's see what this one's gonna be 1318 1318 so i believe the duplicate i just wanted to shoot another one because why not all right so there's our four technically and Average 1309, so a little below our 1350. It says spread is 18, deviation is six. Anything below 10 is really good, in my opinion. And um, we will put a uh, foot pounds of energy at the muzzle when I calculate it. All right, let's put these suckers through gel. Hey, Hornady, 124 grain. Wow, look at that. That was a pretty big cavity. You can see all the denim it tore with it. It's going, going, going. Then we have 12, 13, 14, 15. We are right about 15 inches. Really nice damage though, check it out. Boy. I mean, that's... That's like this right here is this whole cavity. And that goes for a good, oof. gosh, look at that. All right, we'll pull this out and take a look. Okay, so let's get the weight. It's supposed to be a 124 grain XTP. So let's see. So here we have it right here. So bam. 120.3. Hmm. 
I expected it to not lose any. I'll have to go look through the footage again and see if there's anything in the wound cavity. I don't remember off the top of my head right now if there is or isn't. This is what it looks like. It has a really interesting uh, cavity on it. And then from the back, in the gel, I swore it looked like a critical duty or defense with the way it, it was. The way these folded over made me look and think it was the exact same. So really cool bullet. Really uh, not bad at all. You know, 15 inches of penetration. So, I mean, it did really well. Uh, 1309 for the average, though. So, didn't live up to exactly what it should. And, I mean, for 357 SIG, I think it, it needs to be at least at 1350 mark or more. Or uh, it's kind of lacking. And this is a grain. Granted, just a grain, but it is, you know, lighter than most 357 SIG grounds. So there we go. But uh, let us do the diameter and uh, see how much it did expand. It's definitely not as big as most, but it uh, did a very good job in our gel. All right. And we're going to take three of them and then take the average and uh, it'll be on our Google Docs. So our first one is 0.513. Our next one is 0.528, and then our last one is going to be 0.529. Hornady Custom, 124 grain XTPs in the 357 SIG. I, I have to say, I mean, it performed well. I'm not super impressed, but they are nice. I will say they are, they are worth getting. They work. Um, the average we got was only 1309. I, I really, really think most of these SIG rounds need to hit three, 1350 unless they're heavy for caliber. I mean, technically this is one grain lighter, but I'm not gonna <laughs> hold that as much. Um, it did go uh, 15 inches in our gel, which is quite nice. So I'd like that. Um, I could really deal with a 1309 average for the velocity. Really, not bad. It's 50 off. Um, it's not bad. It worked. And uh, honestly, the bullet itself really worked. It had a standard deviation of 6 for when we chronographed it, which is uh, very, very consistent. Um, so, not bad ammo. I, I would use this. I, I, I would say I would use this. Granted, I'd like to see it faster, so maybe we can do that in the future. We, we, we do have some XTPs up there, and uh, that is the plan, to, is to make them a little faster. So we'll see. Um, so I hope you guys, if you liked it, please hit the like button. If you want to see more from me, hit the subscribe button. So um, also, uh, if you want to support the channel in any way, uh, you can run over to uh, Patreon and uh, become a Patreon member. Um, there's not a whole lot you get out of it. I apologize. Um, but you get to be a Patreon and you support the channel if you like it. If you like seeing this, it just helps make better videos, I guess, in the future. Um, anyways, uh, I think that's most of it. Yeah. I hope you guys have a really good one, and I will see you in the next one. <laughs> I love you guys. Bye.